Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is going to be uh, Horimiya, episode 3. We're going to see what happens. what's going to happen this episode. I, I mean, uh, last episode, we got <laughs> Ori, Ori's backstory. I will, well, a little short backstory with the um, with dude with red hair. You know what I'm saying? I forgot his name. Student Council President. I, 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 I'm bad with names. You, gotta, you guys are going to have to give, give me a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time, all right? Um, but maybe we could go into maybe Miyamura's backstory this episode. I don't know. But um, we'll have to see this episode. I hope you're excited. Before we get this video started, you know, please sub this channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 5k subs, so any sub would really help me out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I do have a second channel, we're serving as a backup channel, and I have an Amy Wellness channel. So, if you're interested in those, those links are going to be in the description below. But with that being said, everyone, hey, let's get started. A new plugs. Find a partner and hold hands. All right. Oh, loner. Learner type beat? He's just one of those shy kids? He's weird. Why is he weird? What do you do? Is this middle school? He couldn't find a group again. Yeah, wh why do you avoid everyone? Why is he like this? Because when he's around Ori, Ori like, he, he's really, like, he was nice from the start. So I don't understand why people avoided him. Is there something that happened? He pierced his own ears. <gasps> With a pin! He, oh, so he just felt like it, dude. That's why. Are you guys talking about Miyamura? Oh, he didn't even know who Miyamura was. <laughs> uh, she, she finally approached him. The first time, huh? She said, apparently we're going to get grouped up on the next report. Oh, okay. This is further back. Did she just say she didn't know who I was? That's what I'm saying. You should know. You should know all, all your classmates' name, headass. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at her. Then he had a realization here. I see. And then he said, Oh, sounds kind of weird. Yeah. So this goes back a little bit further. I like that. Huh. All right. What's this? Oh, it's so when they all got their classes? Okay, okay. <laughs> Is this the power of love? Head ass. <laughs> These two. What do you wonder about me, Moda? I'm in this group, but am I really a part of it? Oh. No, that's false. I forgot the name of the dude with purple hair. He loves you, bro. Odie oh, loves you, bro. He'll fit in the group. He'll be fine. Groups of four. Real question is, are someone gonna, is someone gonna ask him to join? I say yes. I told you. See, they all, they all packed up on him. Yeah. This is all a shock to him. You are part of this group, man. For real. Look at all this warmth. He's not used to it. No, Ishikawa was looking for him. I have to get used to it. Ishikawa. That's an easy name to remember. What the hell? He said, wait, what did he say? Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what did he say? Yo. He's gonna cuck me out of dialogue. Say, Ishikawa, what do you think of me? Yeah, he's, he's listening on the downside first. When you take off your glasses, you're more beautiful than most girls. <laughs> True. My boy Ishikawa is getting a little cinder out here. <laughs> My dude blushing. He's a dude. <laughs> he's a dude. Why are you getting all embarrassed and shit? Dude? What's wrong with you? He said, you're kind of weird, bro. But don't worry. This is different. Back then, it was ill intent. But now, hey. It's from a homie. Hell yeah. That's all it is, Miyamura. Hey, listen, dog. You're just a little awkward. That's all it is. When it comes down to you. <gasps> oh. I wish I could go back 10 years and tell myself. Oh. I feel that in my heart, man. Ori, yo, chill, bro. Yo. What do you listen, man? We're just taking a break. You know what I'm saying? Ah, look at her. Mm. Oh, it's the Odie household. What's up? Oh, yeah, Ayasaki. Cute ass. So, uh, Miyamura-kun's pretty hot, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, she, she is hitting her with questions. She said, can I have him then? Wait, what? Aren't you dating? Aren't you? Eh? Oh, damn. She pressing her. 
She said, you can't have it. I'm not giving it to you. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Same unibon as mine. Yeah, tell her. That's right. Hey, you left the trash, dude. Yeah, she got hella protective over there. Damn, look at her. Sheesh. Ori said, Ori said he doesn't belong to anyone. Dude, he would gladly belong to Ori. Let's be honest. We know Miyamura like good well enough that he would he would gladly belong to her. Oh yeah, she's fallen. She's fallen for sure. Oh, so it's just them two here right now. I see. Oh, they're watching a horror movie? During the day? At least get some mood lighting, bro. Oh, Mia would have got scared. <laughs> she said her mom's gonna be late again? Oh. Oh, blackout too? You think Mia Buddha would be the scared one? <laughs> There's so many. Why? Why is there so many movies? Who let this happen? Who let this happen? <laughs> Who let this happen? You're double jointed. Wait, what? Grandma, and you're dead, man. <laughs> Yo, she threatened that boy. Oh, so it like curves. Does it mean I'm double jointed? Uh oh. 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 Nah, you heard that, me about it. You heard it. You heard it, bro. Damn, bruh. Look at that. <gasps> Yo! Yeah, I heard you. You cuck! Oh, wait. Oh, no. He didn't cuck. He didn't cuck. He didn't cuck. We're okay. We're okay. Yo, bro. I was about to be pissed, my boy. I love you, bro. But listen, bro. If you cuck that, I would have been pissed. But this is good. How'd she respond after that? It seems like she responded well. My boy don't want to watch the hand ever again, bro. <laughs> yeah, Remy, Remy takes her jokes way too far, bro. Oh! Yo, bro. Bro, you can't be mad about this, right? You can't be. There's no way. No, you can't be. No. No way Toto gets mad, right? There's, no, no, please. Please. Toto, please, bro. Oh, no. He got punched by... No, Toto punches ass. Yeah. Yeah. But would, would Toto do that? No, it, it would be Toto, right? I knew it. That's tough. Yo, Toto got his ass beat more. <laughs> yo, yo, Miyamori got this one hit. Boop, right here. That boy got busted, bro. He even got a band-aid. That's how bad it is. Well, band-aid, I need... It's like, um... Does that count as band-aid? Yeah, that counts as band-aid. Yeah, yeah. He said, it, I dodged everything except for the first punch. <laughs> yeah, Miyamura knows how to fight out here. There has to be more to that to his backstory than that. Then it has to. I feel bad for my boy though, for real. Damn, he let him know. Wait, doesn't he? Doesn't um Miyamoto know this? He's he thinks he's wrong. It's obvious that she doesn't see me like that. How about why? Why doesn't Toru just t tell him about the conversation? <laughs> yeah. He bitch slapped him. <laughs> this has to do with something in his home life. It has to be. He said, like, he, he's like, it he seems like he was ready to go. Look, look how he locked his, um, his arm and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He locked his arm. He said self-defense right after that. Like, he was panicking a little bit. There has to be something. It has to be. She said, what are you even fighting about? They didn't even know. She doesn't even know, man. We were fighting about what son? Oh, Miyamoto told it straight up. Oh, she's going to be smug about it? She's not going to say? I feel it. It's tough. It's tough. That is tough. So I get the timeline now. So basically what happens is that... Well, I might be wrong here. But it seems like the by the way that they portrayed it, it seems as though that... Um, yeah, so basically what happened was that Remy was talking. And then uh, Mi uh, not Miyamoto, Toru heard her. And then he had that scuffle with Miyamura, right? Toto and Miyamura had that scuffle. And then in the morning, that's where they are now. Why, why didn't Toto just tell him um, what he heard? You know what I'm saying? His facts, his factuals, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why. Unless my timeline's mixed up. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that's the case. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not the case because look, here he doesn't have the band aids on, right? So, yeah. So, this is before the scuffle. <laughs> a little tussle. Yo, it's finally happening. I didn't think it started in the first and the third episode. But, you know, um, by the way, it's progressing so far. This does make sense, though, why, why she feels this way because we've seen it in the last few episodes. We have some time skips where they have like um, interactions with each other for like, for like weeks. And then we have, well, you know, he's been hanging out with her for a long time. This is good stuff. Um,. I really like that because when it comes to because when it comes down to it, Mia Buddha is down for anything to voice his opinions on stuff. He truly believes that Ori doesn't like him like that. Um, that's why he's saying that straight up to Toru. That's what that's what makes Toru so mad about it. If he really um figures out and everything like that, I know for a fact that that Toru would be happy for my boy. He'll be sad that Ori's gonna be um dating somewhere else, but he he will be happy for for his boy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's also now that, um, Remy, thank God, thank God she did this. She really, she really made, she really pressed Ori, forcing her to really, um, convey her really, her true feelings. And without that, I don't think she would have said the, um, the L word to, um, to Miyamura like that. Um, Miyamura didn't catch it. Uh, maybe he didn't want to believe it because he definitely heard it. It was kind of there. Like he, he definitely heard it, but he didn't want to believe it kind of, you know what I mean? But he said himself. He, see, like in that situation, Ori dodged, but Miyamura is the one that really lets it be known. You know what I mean? So what now? Now it's Ori's job to reciprocate those feelings for him. Now it's Ori's job. Because Miyamura already did his part. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the next coming episodes. I hope you're all excited. Um, do let me know if I miss anything or misinterpret something in this episode. And with that being said, everyone, hey, I'm out of here. My social is going to be here. Those links are going to be description below as well. I highly recommend people join Discord if you have not joined Discord yet. That or the Twitter. Because both of those let people know whenever we go live on Twitch, whether it's for gaming or live anime reactions, whenever it goes up on YouTube or just any community related stuff that goes on, then I'll let y'all know about. I'll let y'all know there as well. If you like this video, get like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe and subscribe up there. Best video for you to watch is going to be up there. And the most recent video that I post on my channel is going to be right down there. Uh, with that being said, everyone, hey, thanks for watching. I'll see everyone in the next episode. Peace.